Alrighty then, what is up you guys? This is Gilly again from Pandemic Gameplay, and this is going to be our first series of our Mail Mondays session, which is going to be called FOD Questions and Answers with myself and others. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, started here. So, I'm checking our, uh, our business email here, and we have a question from Corey S. Corey S., and he says, Gilly, how do you make your hair look like that? Also, did it hurt when you stuck that fork in the electric outlet? Hog. Okay. Uh, first off, about my hair. Um, uh, I just comb my hair. That's about it. Like, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Some people think that I, uh, that I use, like, gel or something. Or, like, I spike it off or something. Or that I, like, use a hair dryer or something. Or I use some kind of secret magical formula, but... Really, honestly, the only thing that I do, I just comb it, honestly. <laughs> Most people comb their hair, like, down. I comb mine out, so that's why it looks like that. And, uh, the question about the fork in the electric outlet. Um, I think you're referring to me, uh, sticking, like, I don't think it was a fork. I think it was, like, a, a paper clip or something in an electric outlet. And, yeah, that did kind of hurt a lot. Okay, let's move on to our next question. Our next question comes from uh, Bendak, and he says, My question is, why is Ben such a beast? Well, I don't know why Ben is such a beast. Maybe it has to do with the name that his name is uh, Ben. So, yeah, I don't know why you're such a beast. Maybe you can I answer that for me. Okay, our next question comes from uh, Mitch, uh, or Pogo Dude 10 and he asks, how do I join the Elite Clan and what are the requirements? Okay, so I know a lot of people ask this question a lot about the uh, Elite Clan for Modern Warfare 3. But uh, if you want to join the Elite Clan right now, there's only a few spots left. But you can uh, register on clanfod.com and send a message to the owner of the website. Yeah, I think his screen name on the website is Owner08. You send him a message and uh, ask him if you can join the Elite Clan. I think there are a few requirements to that, but uh, you can uh, check that out on the website. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on to our next question. Our next question comes from mango is this? mango mantango yeah mango mantango and he asks what do you think about coney and the co-founder arrested for jacking it in public um i think referring to the coney 2012 thing that's been uh been going viral around lately um i actually kind of wanted to talk about that question uh, I haven't actually read the story about this, um, so I wouldn't know if he was jacking it in public or not. That's kind of a uh, creepy, but, um, the whole Coney 2012 thing, a few days ago, the video, well, not a few days ago, actually, it's been more like a week now, but, uh, I remember when I first saw the video, because I saw some people posting it on, uh, Facebook, or Bookface, and I actually watched it myself, I watched the entire video, and, uh, it's actually pretty much propaganda to, uh, send U.S. aid to Africa in the form of troops. And uh, when they say aid, they actually mean they're probably going to send, like, troops and stuff. So, um, I would explain the entire thing, like, right now. Uh, so, basically, the Coney 2012 thing. Coney, if you don't know who the he is, Coney is some boogeyman in Africa that the United States government wants to take out. So... It's actually not the government wants to do that. It's this organization. They're called the Invisible Children Organization. And they're called that because Coney, this minor warlord in Africa, actually kidnaps children and uh, recruits them into his uh, liberation army called the LRA. And uh, basically, their organization helps to uh, stop this by actually making the public more aware of what Coney is actually doing in Africa right now. And uh, actually the whole Coney 2012 video, you can watch it yourself, it says that he uh, is still out there in Uganda, but his actual like rebel group is actually fighting the Ugandan government, but they haven't been seen in Uganda in like four to five years maybe. I don't know if that's the correct estimate or not. But let's just put it this way, he hasn't been on the grid for a long time, and just now that this video is coming out, really goes to show you that um, the uh, 
I, w I would say the naiveness or of the uh, organization itself. I mean, and if you research it yourself, they only donate about like I think they said it was like 30 something percent or something like that to the actual relief aid. So uh, basically, more than half, a lot of their aid goes to not their aid, a lot of their money goes to actually making these videos about Coney and trying to stop this terrible man in Africa. Now, I don't want to uh, stop the... I don't, I don't want you guys to think that I don't believe in go aid going to Africa. That's that's not what I think. Uh, I support that in general. But uh, the fact that they're just now seeing this warlord who's been there for like so many years just really goes to show like how unaware the public uh, is of the situation in Africa. And uh, I personally don't believe sending U.S. troops to Africa will help anything at all. They're basically just trying to scavenge the natural resources of Africa. And it's pretty much a big um, cover-up by the government. But, um, again, the uh, uh, history repeats itself. And uh, if you guys remember what happened in Somalia, in Africa, um, with the whole Black Hawk Down situation. Yeah, that's what happens when you're trying to send help to Africa. But um, I totally support sending aid, like in the form of uh, charity organizations, but you totally need to uh, research your organizations a bit more before you start donating and uh, doing this, oh, Coney 2012, oh, he's a boogeyman in Africa, we gotta go find him and get him. Uh, Coney's basically like a pimple on the butt of the world, I mean, <laughs> to put it in simpler terms. Basically, he works for the more global elite in the whole scheme of things. So, uh, that's what I think about the uh, whole Coney 2012 thing. I know that was kind of a, a bit of a long answer to a short question. Uh, but, again, I didn't really research that uh, that much. But that's what I think of the whole thing. Uh, let's go to a, another question here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, we got a question from Cats Ami, and his question is, um, he asked, what do you like the most about your profession? And, uh, I currently don't really have a profession since I'm going to, uh, school right now. But if you're talking about my whole YouTube thing, the thing I like the most about, um, making YouTube videos is basically just watching them after I'm done with them. It's, uh, really cool to be able to watch your videos after you're done making them and see all the final product of everything. Uh, but that's gonna about do it for this uh, question and answers thing. Uh, please subscribe to the new channel, and that's about it, guys. Peace.